You guys, we hit 10K. Or, or my are moving the. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. You guys, we hit 10K yesterday. Yesterday. And I'm so hyped. I actually got footage. My sister surprised me with like balloons and confetti. And then my husband also surprised me with flowers. Okay, apparently my sister has something for me. So she told me to set up my camera. We're gonna see what it is. What? Okay, close your eyes. Close them. It's closed. Okay. What? One. Open your eyes! Thank you, honey. Oh, I, mm. oh, oh, my God. I got like all sorts of tea. What the heck? Here's the 10K, the balloons. Okay, I don't know what happened, but she kind of deflated. I don't know what happened. It's supposed to say 10, and the K is all the way over there. Oh, that, where? To jail, to jail immediately to gel <laughs> but anyways yeah i hit 10k yesterday so dead and my sisters got me those balloons and my husband got me Come these in, flowers let me show you guys The prettiest set of flowers. I usually don't get yet pink flowers, but these, yeah, he ate down. She's so cute. And the vase is even cuter. But anyways, we are going to drop these two off to where they need to be. And then we're gonna come back home. Also, I set up like all of my Halloween decor, so You'll probably be seeing them, but I am proud. Here's the front or the living room area. We put like, I put the bats over here. We have bats over here. And then, and then we have some more bats over here. And I put a ghost here. Let me show you guys the front door. You guys, this, oh. Look at me, my neighbors are looking like a head. But this is my front door, or my porch. I have my ghost here, and then just a pumpkin and lanterns over there. You guys, everyone is drop. <clears throat> oh, the heck! <clears throat> Everybody is dropped off where they need to be. 
so it is it is 8 a.m. and I am still in my pajamas <laughs> my husband actually had a late start today because normally or some days he works around like he has to drop loads off around 3 a.m. and a lot of people ask me what does that mean that he drops loads? Well, my husband is a truck driver, so he does loads. So he has to go and pick up loads from different warehouses. So sometimes he has to like drive like five hours out, six hours out, and he has to be there by like 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. It just depends. So lunch gets made whenever that time is. Also, I make my husband's lunch according to his schedule. And then sometimes my husband doesn't come home. Like some nights he doesn't. So evening time, I'm not making a whole other meal after I just made dinner. I'm just going to make it in the morning because it's just easier for me. Everyone's sleeping. I can do my thing. Less work for me. And I personally like waking up earlier. I'm a morning person. So everyone in my comments on my shorts, tussle with your mom or tussle with your wife, okay? Or your husband, because could not be me. Anyways, we're also in, okay, let me just drive. Because I'm parked by, by my husband's work. His boss is going to look at me crazy. There's like this challenge going on TikTok, and it's called... And it's called Winter Arc Challenge. Basically, you have the last three months of the year to like really lock in with your goals or whatever it is. Like you pick some goals and you stick with it. And honestly, my goals from the beginning of this year has not really changed. So I'm really just kind of continuing to do those things that I was doing before. But I think the only difference is... I am going to try to take my eating like what I eat more serious because I feel like that's the only place that I really lack. Um, after everything that happened um, in August with losing my baby and like going through surgery, like my body is starting to recover and I realized that like when you can't do anything, you really like... I sit there and I'm like, man, there's so much I could do with myself. Like, there's so much potential. Like, people are so lucky to be working out and, like, you know, doing things. So, it really, like, shifted my perspective about things. So, we are locking in the last three months. I, you guys, not even gonna lie, I have hit almost all the goals that I set for myself this year. Like, it is crazy. Um... And honestly, the biggest goal that I had for myself this year was, oh my gosh, you guys are moving so much. I'm sorry, my camera is, I don't have a mount for my for my camera in my car, so you guys are balancing on the dashboard. <laughs> but my biggest goal for this year was to hit 10K subscribers on YouTube. And listen, I... I knew that that was a little bit far-fetched because YouTube is hard. It's hard to grow on YouTube, but I hit 10K yesterday. I am so hyped. Like, I was screaming. I was geeking. I didn't even, like, record. But, yeah, we're spending the day together. I have to work out, and I'm not too sure what else I'm going to do today. I feel like I should do something. I'm not too sure what. We'll figure it out together. I know people, like, set up. Um, like they schedule their videos like you know the week before like what they're gonna film but I'm not even gonna lie you guys I have no secret I wing I just wing it I never know what my vlog is gonna be or how it's gonna go because I just pick up my camera and I just vlog I vlog my day I vlog so like what you see me do in the day is what I did that day I don't plan it I just kind of pick up the camera and we just go also, I think I'm going to be like packing up like shoes and stuff today because um, we are packing or we are moving the end of this month, literally the first of November. And <clears throat> I don't think I ever like shared it, but, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So we need to start packing the house because we move out the day after Halloween. So we are having Halloween at my house. So my goal is to like pack my entire house 
Halloween and then we move into our new place, um, which I am so excited about. It's a little bit smaller than the house we're in. It's a townhouse, but it has an extra room so I can turn into my office and I'm so excited. I'm just so excited about so many things. Moss coconut coal, yeah. I am almost out of coconut coal, so I think I need to run to the store and buy some more. We are down to the little bit of it. It's kind of runny. <laughs> Mango pineapple and the sea moss is so good. I literally love it. Big scoop. I think I'm gonna have this banana and then make a tea because I have been drinking this like dandelion peppermint tea that my brother put me on to and she's chef's kiss. I've been drinking it like right in the morning instead of coffee and I feel like 10 times better. Like my mood, like my energy is like 10 times better. So we are definitely making us a freaking tea. The gym fit today we're doing this yellowstone t-shirt and this one is from walmart and then we're just doing my orange on our active shorts because it's halloween so we need to stay festive honestly i am starting my gym session like way later than i normally do but as long as it gets done i need some socks you guys surprisingly I emptied out my closet like with a lot of clothes and my closet still looks full. <sighs> I got a huge bin of socks and no socks. Oh my gosh. I put the mirror in my room out here in the living room and I actually love her out here. Stop, I'm giving like all the Halloween vibes. Yeah. We are gonna make our pre workout. Who is calling me? Oh. Oxy Shred L Carnitine. She's that girl. I think we're just gonna get like a quick like 45 minute workout in so that I can like come and start like packing some stuff for the house.
chain. Got your girl in this bitch, she twirling on the dick. Pop another bottle if you like it. Was a fuck nigga from the start, huh? You should tell your head when you had thoughts, huh? That's what you thought, huh? I let you scar, huh? You'll never be the motherfucker. Man, you get your money, the motherfucker. Join in, get the money, motherfucker. You break me, you break me. I know it's all with good. I do what I am. Good, I'm not proud. I said I worked out, girl. We should have known, cause you deserve it. Take it stressed out, you need some. I got you. Once you set the ground, then you need to find my mind It's up and I feel the thrill Over, over your spell Over from yours for the getting But I couldn't find her, had me feeling mad lame Maybe she got married So hey, wait, baby girl, what you doing? Where your man? I took it to the rain, then she fuck up for the fame so drink a barbell My bun is looking somewhat decent, so we're not even gonna touch her. We're gonna wash our hair tonight. Guys, I don't even know how time just like literally flew by. It's already like 31. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Time just kind of freaking flew by. I'm not even gonna lie. Guys, what a freaking fail. I didn't even take me out to defrost for dinner. Oh my gosh. Again. You guys, BLT sandwich for lunch. Mm, so good. My friend just texted me and she just said how proud she is of me and like my social media growth and all of that. Like, that means so much to me. Like, it just means a lot. Like, people close to me, like, you know, showing support and like showing love. Like, that just means everything to me because honestly, like, doing social media can be like really nerve-wracking because i don't know what it is just like the fear of like people that know you like i don't know seeing your stuff or like people you went to school with like seeing your stuff and like feeling judged for i don't know what but like if you're a content creator you get it like it's just nerve-wracking like having people see your stuff i don't know what it is um so that means a lot if you're watching this Haley, i love you guys they're more so like She's not even like a good friend. At this point, she's family to me. Like, they're family to me. I watched her daughters when they were like babies. And now they have four kids. And she just gave birth to her son. And he is so freaking cute. So if you're watching this, I love you guys. Um, I'm going to eat my lunch. And then also like comment back to people. Because I like to spend a lot of time like com commenting back to people. Good and bad comments. Because... If you took the time out to comment on my video, you're going to get a reply back, whether it's nice or not. You're going to get a nice reply back or a mean one. It just depends all on you how you want to come at me. 
no but in all seriousness i love commenting back to like people that comment on my videos because i just feel like if you took the time out of your day to do that and like show love i'm obviously gonna do it back you know what i mean so that's what we're gonna do my husband sent me a podcast to listen to so yeah we're gonna listen to that this is the podcast he sent to me So I'm going to listen to that while I reply back to some of you guys. Joe's gonna draw his face out and then we're gonna cut it open. You guys, I have been making the Biscoff like coffee with this and it is so good. Like actually use the actual Biscoff um, cookie butter because it tastes 10 times better than like the syrup. I know I literally said I was going to slow down on drinking coffee but like this is only one shot of espresso. It's not like a, That's a, like a full cup of coffee. So Isn't it yeah. the same? Isn't the espresso like strong? Oh my gosh, I'm just trying to get into the like the Halloween festive mood. <laughs> okay, the goal, once the coffee's in there, you really want to stir it like really good. Like, really good. Break down the peanut butter. It's not peanut butter, babe. It's, it's cookie butter. Oh my gosh. To jail. Anyways, like that. I'm gonna grab some ice. Okay, ice is in there. Milk. And some cold foam. 
The phone. And that's it, y'all. Nice. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. Right? Ooh. Looks good. My husband likes his coffee like a lot more bitter and black than I do. I like mine on the sweeter side, but we're gonna have him try it and see what he thinks. Even though I know he'll probably not like it. It's just, that's what you call coffee. Try it. It's bitter. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty strong. Cookie mm. butter. Butter me. Butter me and butter So you. good. Look how good these look. Babe, these can come off. Oh, I, I can take them I off. Take them off too. Yummy. Huh? Huh? That looks so good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is it. Adding some onions and cilantro. Oops. And then some limes. You think she cooks by herself? I cook too. <laughs> I could cook, guys. Some time in. Mm. I could cook too, guys. Cook the leftovers. <laughs> Joe made the most interesting um, mouth. It looks good though. Hold on, Dad's all stuff. That's so, like, let me see. That's so cute. Jojo's pumpkin. <laughs> Duke left to go and do his last load for the night and I am cooking dinner. I am just doing like kind of just like a chicken soup with like random stuff we have but I like to grill the chicken so like the outsides can be a little bit crispy and then we'll add the water and the chicken broth and like let it all sit and cook. Um, this is what we're putting inside of it because I had some leftover I had some leftover celery, so we're gonna put that, some onions, and then some tomatoes. Yeah. Honestly, it just tastes better when the skin is like nice and crisp. I feel like it gives it so much more flavor too, so yeah. I got this big bottle of beef broth. Um so we're just gonna make our own beef. We're going to do two tablespoons of the beef broth and then add our hot water and mix it. Hopefully that's enough seasoning. You know what? Fuck it. Good measure. We'll do three. And there's our chicken broth. We're
Okay, that's it, you guys. We're gonna cover it and we're gonna let it cook. I just know I'm gonna crave like a sweet treat after dinner, so we are making the chocolate covered dates. I have my dates and then we're also going to fill it with the PB Fit peanut butter and we're going to do some semi-sweet chocolate chips. Okay guys, this is them. I'm gonna put them in the fridge to get them cold. Um, but yeah, super easy and they're so freaking good. Super strong. It gives that <gasps> ripe taste. Oh, yeah. I'm eating the real banana. Hmm. Because I definitely think I like the mango better. Oh, really? I chose I like the, the banana mango. one. I think I like the mango better than the banana. Y'all, I am so excited for this. You guys, I made my dandelion peppermint tea. My husband's also drinking it. I'm going to end the vlog here, but thanks for spending the day with me. Love you guys. Bye.